On March 30, 2023, the Yellowstone System Alert announced that the massive dome-shaped uplift in the Yellowstone caldera was still increasing in size. This announcement sparked concerns about the potential for a catastrophic volcanic eruption, as the Yellowstone caldera is known to be one of the most active volcanic regions in the world. In today's video, we will be showing you Yellowstone System Alert just announced the massive dome-shaped uplift is still increasing in size. Without further ado, let's begin. The Yellowstone caldera is located in the western United States, primarily in Wyoming, but also extending into parts of Montana and Idaho. It is a large volcanic depression, measuring approximately 45 by 30 miles in size, that was formed by a series of massive eruptions over the past 2 million years. The most recent eruption occurred about 640,000 years ago, and it was one of the largest volcanic eruptions in Earth's history. The eruption was so powerful that it formed a caldera, or a large crater-like depression, in the Earth's crust. The Yellowstone caldera is now considered to be a dormant supervolcano, with the potential for a massive eruption in the future. The Yellowstone System Alert has emphasized that the current uplift is not a cause for immediate concern, as there are currently no signs of an impending eruption. However, the situation is being closely monitored, and if there are any significant changes in the uplift or other indicators of volcanic activity, appropriate measures will be taken to ensure public safety. One of the primary concerns in the event of a Yellowstone eruption is the potential for widespread environmental and societal impacts. A major eruption could release vast amounts of ash and gas into the atmosphere, leading to a volcanic winter that could significantly impact global temperatures and weather patterns. In recent years, scientists have been monitoring the Yellowstone caldera closely for signs of volcanic activity. One of the most significant indicators of potential volcanic activity is the movement of the ground surface. In the case of the Yellowstone caldera, the ground has been slowly rising in a dome shape for the past several decades. This dome-shaped uplift is caused by the movement of magma beneath the Earth's crust. As the magma rises towards the surface, it pushes up on the overlying rock layers, causing the ground to rise. This process is known as uplift or inflation, and it is a common precursor to volcanic eruptions. The Yellowstone System Alert is a group of scientists and experts who monitor the Yellowstone caldera for signs of volcanic activity. They use a variety of monitoring techniques, including GPS, seismometers, and gas detectors to track the movement of the ground and other indicators of volcanic activity. On March 30, 2023, the Yellowstone System Alert announced that the massive dome-shaped uplift in the Yellowstone caldera was still increasing in size. According to the announcement, the uplift had grown by about 2 inches per year over the past several years, and it was continuing to rise at a similar rate. This news sparked concerns about the potential for a catastrophic volcanic eruption. If the magma beneath the Yellowstone caldera were to erupt, it could release a massive amount of ash and gas into the atmosphere, causing significant environmental and societal impacts. However, it is important to note that the current uplift is not necessarily a precursor to a volcanic eruption. While uplift is a common precursor to volcanic activity, it is not always a guarantee that an eruption will occur. In fact, uplift can also occur without an eruption, as the magma may simply cool and solidify beneath the Earth's crust. Additionally, scientists and experts are closely monitoring the situation at Yellowstone and are taking steps to prepare for a potential eruption. This includes developing evacuation plans and conducting research on the potential impacts of a volcanic eruption. The ash and gas could also have significant impacts on human health and infrastructure, including causing respiratory problems, damaging crops, and disrupting transportation networks. In addition, the eruption could cause significant economic disruptions, as many industries and businesses could be impacted by the environmental and societal impacts of the eruption. To mitigate the potential impacts of a Yellowstone eruption, scientists and experts are working to develop better methods for monitoring volcanic activity and predicting the likelihood of an eruption. They are also developing strategies for evacuating affected populations and providing necessary resources and assistance in the event of an eruption. One of the key challenges in preparing for a Yellowstone eruption is the sheer scale of the potential impact. The Yellowstone caldera is a massive geological feature, and a major eruption could impact not only the immediate area surrounding the volcano, but also much of the western United States and beyond. However, scientists and experts are optimistic that with continued research and preparation, it will be possible to minimize the potential impacts of a Yellowstone eruption. 
This includes not only developing effective monitoring and evacuation plans, but also investing in research on ways to mitigate the environmental and societal impacts of a major eruption. In the meantime, it is important for individuals and communities in the region to stay informed about the situation at Yellowstone and to be prepared in the event of an eruption. This includes developing evacuation plans, stockpiling emergency supplies, and staying up to date on the latest news and alerts from the Yellowstone System Alert and other relevant authorities. In addition to monitoring the ground uplift and other indicators of volcanic activity, scientists and experts are also conducting research on the potential impacts of a Yellowstone eruption. This includes studying the geological history of the region and using computer models to simulate the potential effects of an eruption on the environment, economy, and society. One area of research that has received significant attention in recent years is the potential for a Yellowstone eruption to trigger a so-called supereruption. A supereruption is a volcanic eruption that releases more than 1,000 cubic kilometers of volcanic material, making it significantly larger than any known historical eruption. While the likelihood of a supereruption at Yellowstone is still considered to be relatively low, it is a possibility that scientists and experts are taking it seriously. A supereruption at Yellowstone could have catastrophic environmental and societal impacts, potentially causing a global volcanic winter that could last for years and significantly impact food production, transportation, and other critical industries. This includes studying past eruptions and their impacts as well as using advanced monitoring techniques and computer models to simulate the behavior of magma and other factors that could contribute to an eruption. Overall, the announcement by the Yellowstone System Alert that the massive dome-shaped uplift in the Yellowstone caldera is still increasing in size is a reminder of the ongoing potential for volcanic activity in the region. While there is no immediate threat of a volcanic eruption, the situation is being closely monitored and scientists and experts are taking steps to prepare for a potential event. The announcement by the Yellowstone System Alert that the massive dome-shaped uplift in the Yellowstone caldera was still increasing in size has sparked concerns about the potential for a catastrophic volcanic eruption. While uplift is a common precursor to volcanic activity, it is not necessarily a guarantee that an eruption will occur. Scientists and experts are closely monitoring the situation at Yellowstone and are taking steps to prepare for a potential eruption. While the news of the continuing uplift at Yellowstone is cause for concern, it is important to remember that there is no immediate threat of a volcanic eruption. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next video.